So, and then what about electronic music? What was your, do you remember like well, discovering I mean, that? I, well, I discovered electronic music, again, in the late 70s, early 80s, through rock. Okay. Because that was, that was my thing. That yeah. was what I grew I grew up in Boston, or the suburbs of Boston, rather, okay. uh, raised on what's now called classic rock, sure. you know. And um, so with exposure to a lot of groups, you know, like Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. or if you want to get a bit more new agey, uh, you know, like uh, Tangerine Dream, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff, or Vangelis, you know, even. Oh, wow. um, you know, that, that stuff would be, that early electronic stuff would be filtering in to the mainstream and stuff. I mean, in the case of Vangelis, you know, that was, of course, Chariots of Fire, you right. know, that movie. Yeah. Um, and Pink Floyd is just, you know, being Pink Floyd. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it was a it was a slow kind of uh, immersion in electronic music, and that became easier in the '80s as more you know synths and stuff right. became more prevalent you know around when you started getting out of the post classic rock you know '70s period and into the post punk new agey you know, I mean uh, new wave uh -huh. '80s you know with more synths and more and the first primitive computers the first Macs you know. Uh, you know, with MIDI, you know, mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, but that was just the beginning, of course, you know. Yeah. It, and it was an exciting time, and a bit of a confusing time, too.